Hey everyone, this is Rebecca here from Greg's Garage and today I'm going to show you how to swap out a serpentine belt. Um, this is a 1999 Ford Ranger, but this can be applied to any vehicle with a spring-loaded tensioner. First, you will need a belt routing diagram. Ford has provided one for this particular vehicle, but if you don't have one readily available, you can always draw one out for yourself. That way you know how to put the belt back on. Next, I want to give myself enough room so I can do the work I need to do. I'm gonna pull this pipe here off and out of the way. That way, again, I've got more access to the belt. The next step is to get a wrench on the tensioner. And what I like to do is double up on the wrenches to give myself a little more torque. Just like that. Next step, I'm gonna get this wrench here onto the tensioner. Got it on there and just I'm gonna slowly rotate it. And it just fell off, that's all right. All right, there we go. Rest that wrench right here. Then I'm gonna double up as I showed you just a moment ago. Just like that. Then I'll pull up as hard as I can, like this. And that should give me enough slack to get the belt off. If you got a mechanical fan, you're gonna need to route the belt around it. So you can get this. the old belt is out. All right, now that we've got the old belt out, this is a great time to take out the new belt and compare their lengths, make sure they're close to the same thing. Yeah, I would argue that those are the same correct length. All right, now it's time to get the new serpentine belt back in the truck. So big picture is gonna be the reverse of what you did to get it off. Um, this is where your diagram's gonna come in handy. I'm going to feed it around the fan. All right, now I've got the belt positioned where I can get it around the crank and then the tensioner. Got it loosely enough around the crank. And then we're gonna take that around the tensioner. Okay. Tensioner there. I've got everything set up for the final step, and that is to put the um, belt underneath the idler. Ben's over here with the wrench on the tensioner <laughs> to give me a little extra hand, but with that, I should be able to slide this underneath the idler. All right, not bad for one hand on the belt and the other hand on the camera. So we've got it under the idler and that is all there is to it to replacing a serpentine belt. 
So we have everything all buttoned up under the hood and it's ready to go. The next thing we're gonna do, of course, is to crank it up. Nice. Looks like everything is operating as expected. And it's gonna vary depending on how easy or not the belt is to get to. Um, but this is more or less how it's done in changing a serpentine belt on a vehicle. Uh, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and we'll be back at you with some other how-to tips and tricks. So until then, this is Rebecca from Grev's Garage. We'll see you next time.